going on you guys this is Eric back at you with another DIY video and this one I have a pretty short one for you guys I'm gonna be replacing my um, fog light bulb right here on my 2000 infinity G20 so this is some of the tools you're gonna be needing you're gonna need a flathead an extension um, set of sockets and a ratchet so we're in front of my car this is my driver's side that is messed up right here so the way you're gonna remove your fog light is by simply just getting your flathead and then um, prying in between the, the bottom of the bumper and the, this little cover right here. So just stick the, the flathead in there and then what you're pretty much going to do is just turn it with your hand like that. You're not going to pry it off because you can break this plastic right here. So just turn it sideways and that should pop up like that. So once you get it loose like that just wiggle it around and it should come off. Once we remove the cover off of the fog light, you're going to have access to this bolt right here. And this is what holds down this fog light to the rest of the bump right here. So in my case, this is a 12 millimeter. So go ahead and get your extension and then your socket. And then just go ahead and remove that. Once you remove that bolt, the fog light should come off. Just go ahead and push it this way and it's gonna come off. All right, and you can tell right here on this left side that the uh, fog light has two little um, clips right here that just go in those holes right here to the left. Once we have the fog light out of its housing location, go ahead and disconnect your connection right here that goes to the fog light, and you're just gonna do this so that it uh, makes it easier to install your new um, fog light bulb inside of here without having this attached to the car itself. All right, you guys, so now that we have that disconnected, go ahead and just um, turn this um, plastic cover right here. This is so that it can keep out any moisture and water out of the electricals inside of the fog light. Go ahead and turn it left, and it should pop off. Now what we're gonna wanna do first is unclip this right here. This is the little um, tab that pushes down on the fog light bulb itself. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off like that, and then just wiggle this around and then it should release it like that. So you see it's now nice and loose right now. So now what you wanna do is pull off your fog light and just maneuver it around these metal clips right here that hold it down, just like that. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our connection. So on this one, um, what you're gonna wanna do is pry this out just like that, to be careful with your fog light, but you just pretty much wanna pull this way and then this should release this connection right here. And then try not to rip these, this uh, rubber boot right here. This is to keep out um, any water and moisture from this connection right here. So this is our replacement right here. This is an H3 bulb. Um, I got this from AutoZone, price match to Walmart's price. Got it for around four bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and install this to our fog light. The install is pretty much the reverse of what we did. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off this, um, it's like a frat fabric covering the wire. Go ahead and place it on your new one. Just uh, go ahead and place it all around. And then be careful not to touch the light bulb itself. The next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and get our connection. And then you should see the little connection in there right there. So just go ahead and place that in there. Until you hear it click in there. Just like that and just go ahead and cover it up keep any moisture and water out of there all right so do you see those two tabs in on the fog light right there those little dimples on both sides what you're gonna want to do is line up the light bulb into those housing so the light bulb has those right there you see that it has one that's circle and one that's like a squarish end so you're gonna just line those up to its um, location Okay, so now that we have our light bulb in, go ahead and just get your plastic boot right here and just press it in into its uh, housing location right here. Just press it in there like that so it can be out of the way. And then pretty much, um, you're pretty much done in there. So just go ahead and put the little cover back on. Just go 
ahead and twist it. All right, and then once you do that, your fog light should be ready to go to install it. So go ahead and just get your connection and then just go ahead and connect it in there. We're gonna go ahead and install this back inside. So go ahead and just push the wiring back in, get your fog light, put it on an angle, and then just go ahead and try to fit it into its holes right there that it has on the side of the bumper. Once it's in there, you should feel like it's um, nice and secure right there. So the next thing is to install your bolt that actually holds this side to the back. Now that you have your bolt inside, go ahead and get your cover right here for your fog light. The orientation for this is this is up and this is facing down. So go ahead and just get it at an angle, push it against right there, and then just pop it inside and you should clip in. If you own an Infinity G20, you know how hard it is to find these covers right here. The, the trick that I like to do just for safety is because a lot of times these, these end up falling off of your fog lights when you're driving because you see this is kind of flimsy it, it moves a lot when you're driving on the freeway or something like that it, it can fall off so what I like to do is just get some clear tape and just put like a line like a, clear, like a piece of clear tape just running across right here just so they can be more secure alright you guys so that's pretty much gonna conclude the end of this video if you guys liked what you guys saw please give me a thumbs up also if you're not subscribed consider subscribing if you guys like these types of videos, please let me know in the description. Also, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I try to answer as best as I can. Once again, thanks for watching.